Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a summer nights makeup tutorial. I saw this look on Lily Rose Depp that I was obsessed with. It was like very glam and just like, you know, very princess, very glam. And I was like, this is a perfect glam look for the summer because it's like sexy, it's sultry. And I feel like, you know, in the summer people naturally tend to go out a lot because it's warmer outside and, you know, there's just more plans in the summer. So I feel like it's the perfect perfect time to glam up and just like really go full out and I fell in love with this look so I really want to recreate it it's absolutely a stunning queen before we go ahead and do that make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up comment down below like share subscribe if you are new and welcome back to my channel and I hope everyone's having an amazing lovely day I don't know if I'm gonna do chit chat style or just like tutorial style but regardless I'm clipping up my hair so that we get the hair out of my face and we can get right into skincare. I'm first going to start out with my vitamin C. I freaking love this stuff. I swear it just like brightens up my complexion like no other thing I've ever tried before. It's, it's the Paracone MD Ferolic Acid. Here. And just gently kind of blend that in with my hands. My favorite thing to just really give my skin an insane glow is the watermelon glow. This just like really snatches my skin. It has nice cinnamide in it. It's so good and it just gives your skin this like pearl finish and you guys can kind of see what I mean right now. Like once I blend it in, my skin's just gonna like look so glowy. Look at that. I am going to be using sunscreen as it's one of the most important steps, especially right now in the summer. And I just think it is daytime here right now, so I am going to be protecting my skin. I literally do not leave my house without this sunscreen. And it is the Shiseido Urban Environment Sun Dual Care. It's oil-free with hyaluronic acid. It's broad spectrum with SPF 42. First of all, I'm obsessed, you know, just like with the packaging. Absolutely stunning and I want to thank them for sponsoring this video because it's actually an honor to work with them. I have always loved all of their skincare products, especially their sunscreens and this is probably one of the best sunscreens I've ever tried. It's, it's so lightweight on your skin. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It's super fast absorbing and it doesn't leave a white cast, which is my biggest pet peeve with sunscreens is a white cast. It's also a very hydrating formula since it is with hyaluronic acid and I just love Love when I can use a product that already hydrates my skin so the fact that I'm protecting my skin while also hydrating my skin is super super important for me just because it gives my skin the most beautiful glow and my makeup also after glides on so smoothly this also controls oil and it mattifies your skin so if you have oily prone skin this is your best friend it's free of oxybenzone and oxytinone oxytinone i think that's i'm saying it right it is ocean friendly and hawaii compliant what i love is that this works great as a makeup primer since i am doing a full face kind of makeup today this works great as a primer since it does have hydrating yet mattifying properties in it so i'm super excited to use it make sure you guys do check out this gorgeous sunscreen from shiseido in the link down below yeah make sure you guys protect your skin it's super super important so i'm just gonna go ahead and put it on it's like in this gorgeous finish here and it's so lightweight You guys, look at that beautiful glow that the sunscreen gave me. It also smells amazing. I must know it like literally just smells so refreshing on the skin. My skin just like feels like silk after. So nice, you guys. Okay, guys, so once I've primed my skin, I'm going to go ahead and begin to do the Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. And I just apply it kind of like all over my face. This just gives me like the most beautiful finish and preps the skin for the makeup. So I do feel like Lily Rose's stuff makeup was like super glowy, yet kind of like matte at the same time. The Smashbox Immaculate. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's a liquid powder foundation. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on. Oh my gosh, I just put way too much product by accident. 
it's fine. I'll just like find a way to like do extra coverage. But I just kind of blend it in. It is a bit darker than my skin tone, but it matches perfectly with my tan on my neck. So I don't really mind it. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to blend that in. So I've been on like this journey of like trying to um wake up earlier because i usually wake up around eight or nine and today i woke up at six and oh my god it was so hard you guys and it's like four right now and i'm literally exhausted i'm ready to take a nap okay perfect now that we've blended everything out i think i need to use concealer so i'm using the hourglass and i'm gonna put on concealer on that spot there because it doesn't want to cover for some reason it's like it just said no and I'm going to begin to kind of sculpt my face because I feel like Lily Rose, she just has like the most insane, like gorgeous cheekbones. Um, and I kind of want to make my cheekbones look higher up. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty and I'm sculpting them up like a little higher than usual just so that my cheekbones look like they're higher even though they're not. And I'm going to be contouring my nose and then I'm going to be blending that out. And it kind of creates like the illusion that I have like a really sharp cheekbone even though I don't. I'm going to take a pencil, a brush like this, begin to blend it out. Take the tip of my beauty blender and blend it in. Take my Too Faced primer, I mean not primer, bronzer. And I'm going to begin to kind of just like outline my nose. Because hers is so like snatched in the photos. So I just really want to snatch my nose that it looks perfect and like super cute um and then i take a blender and blend that in and do that like a super snatched nose okay so i'm gonna be taking the benefit brow gel for the brows and her brows are super just like brushed upwards and she has pretty similar eyebrows to me they're just a lighter shade so i'm just brushing them upwards and then i'm gonna take the benefit goof proof brow pencil and just slightly fill it in a tiny bit wherever i feel like it needs it a little bit more so i'm gonna do the same thing on this side okay so my eyebrows are filled in and we're gonna do the eyeshadow so i'm taking the beauty bay nude palette it literally has all the perfect shades for this look so i'm gonna go ahead and start with a like transition shade and it's gonna be the shade warm and cozy right here it's like a dark brown so we're gonna get, begin to kind of put that all over the eyes on just like the section that connects the lids where like the line is right there just put it on all over as kind of like a transition and then bring it down to the lid just like that and then after warm and cozy maple syrup which is a little bit lighter it's right here it's, it has more of like an orangey undertone bring it right on top of that shade so it kind of creates like you guys will see but it's going to create dimension of like different colors and it's just like really pretty it might look crazy at first but we're going to blend this out so do not worry i want to take a big blender begin to blend in those shades so that they're more seamless just like that and then i'm going to take a little bit of maple syrup and begin to put it begin to put it like right here on the outer wrist and here to create that dimension as you guys can see and on the other side maple syrup on the outer corner it may look crazy at first but it's fine it's gonna come all together in the end warm and cozy again and kind of like accentuate warm and cozy in the innerest which is the darker brown into the innerest corner here into the inner lid right there because she has it like very kind of just like messy in a way first i'm taking the shade brown sugar it's the sparkly one on right on the lid like right there the shade brown sugar all over the lid 
After that, I'm going to go ahead and begin to do the black liner, which is the hardest part. I'm going to be taking the shade Illicit, which is just a jet black from the Beauty Bay palette. This wing is like very elaborate. Basically, I'm going to start here. It's going to be a thicker wing than my usual. Well, the great thing is that since it is a thicker wing than like what I would usually do, it's a lot easier to get away with it because you have more space to kind of like mess up since it's like super thick. So you could just make the line thicker if you do mess up, you know what I mean? And yeah, and then you want to bring it back in and create a thinner line in the beginning. You're going to go back in and create like a little V. Right there. I just kind of finished the liner. Um, so as you guys can see, like I did a very thick line on the outer and then I brought it back in. Super pretty. Okay, so then now I'm going to do the concealer and then we're going to bring the liner into the lower lid. Hourglass concealer. And underneath the eyes and out. and then just blend it out. It's gonna look kind of like this. Now I'm gonna take the black and eyeshadow and begin to put it into my lower lid. Put it into my lower lid. I'm gonna take it down just a tiny bit into the lower lash line and then we're going to be smoking it out this is like very full coverage for me i'm actually really loving it though it's super pretty oh well, you see it becomes more smoky and then we are going to do everything else on the face. Wearing like a very rosy pinky blush. So I'm going to be using my She Glam Spring It On. I think I've mentioned this before and I'm going to keep mentioning it. Oh my gosh, I put way too much. She's wearing a lot of blush. She doesn't have it really on her nose or anything. We're just keeping it on the cheeks. And kind of just like blending it upwards. Our Mercier Passion Fruit, which is like very similar to the blush that she's wearing. And we're going to be setting that blush to make it more intense. Wearing so much blush. It's going to look kind of like that. Pretty intense, I know. I also forgot to set my concealer with powder, so I'm going to be taking the Laura Mercier um, we definitely have to set this because it's such a heavy look. Remember, say translucent is very trusty. So I'm gonna just set those under eyes. Give like a seamless look. And I'm gonna do highlight. So I usually like to do. I see that she has a highlight kind of on the bridge of her nose. Like kind of like where her eyebrows are meeting the nose. So I'm gonna put that there. And she has a highlight right. Kind of like when she smiles, like right here in the inner part of her cheek. So we're gonna put a highlight there. This is the Merit Beauty highlight stick. And the blend on in. I have like eye, a black eyeshadow all over my freaking upper lip. Looking super snatched. Okay. After we did that, I'm going to be doing the lips. So for the lips, she has like a very round lip liner with like an iconic kind of nude lip. So I feel like that's perfect for this look. So the closest lip liner that I have to that color is the NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. So I'm going to begin to line my lip. And... The liner, so the lips are Velvet Teddy from MAC. For 
the mascara I'm going to be using is the Bad Gal by uh, Benefit. It's my favorite mascara. So I'm just putting it on all over. I'm like really getting it in there in my lashes. And we're going a little ham because this is a glam look. So... I feel like this look really makes my eyes pop. Like, it just made my eyes, like, really pop. So, this is the finished look. I hope you guys love this video. I really love the way this makeup came out, inspired by Lily Rose Depp. I think it's so pretty, especially for these next upcoming summer months. It's just super glowy, super fun. Very full face makeup, but still glowy and summery, in my opinion. It is a little smoky, but I think it's great for the summer. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it came out out like i'm going to be wearing this look a lot huge shout out to shea sato i am obsessed with this sunscreen it is actually my favorite sunscreen ever it glides onto the skin like silk it is so lightweight it is just such a beautiful texture and it's actually like my new favorite sunscreen of all time you guys have to check them out i genuinely do swear by them it's not even because they're sponsoring this video i've always loved shea sato and all their products and this sunscreen in particular literally slides onto your skin like milk it is just so hard to explain how amazing it is make sure that you guys do check it out in the link down below and get yours because you need to protect your skin this summer if you guys did love this look don't forget to please give it a thumbs up and comment down below share your thoughts give me ideas on some upcoming looks or videos that you guys would like to see because i always kind of struggle with figuring out what to film next so if you guys have any ideas do let me know i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys